Hi guys, Dan here. In today's video, I will show you how to uh, paint this uh, Assassin Muib for the Haki Islam Army. In this video, we will use the mix of the traditional painting with the washes and some contrast paints. And as well, in this video, I'm trying some new uh, speed uh, video. So if you like it, please let me know and I will continue doing it. For now, sit back, relax and enjoy the video. So our first uh, color that we will use today will be a Death Vault Forest. Uh, we'll just paint all of his uh, chest armors and the pants. As well, as I forgot to mention, uh, the model is primed with the uh, Raybone uh, spray. Uh, usually when I, whenever I want to do the contrast paints on the model, I will do, do the Raybone spray. For our next step, we will use the red bone color. So we will use it like an eraser and just fix uh, all the things that we messed up and uh, all the things that we wanna cover later with a different uh, contrast paint. So I will fix uh, like the knife that I messed up and all the, the little spots around that I have like a little of the, of the previous paint. After everything is cleared with the red bone, I will now proceed with the orc flash contrast paint and I will start blocking all the green, uh, the dark green uh, elements of this mini that I want, uh, which is actually his uh, backpack and uh, shoulder plates and, uh, and the holster for his gun. Also I will do uh, all those little stripes on his legs. Try to be as neat as possible. Uh, if you go over the red bone, it's not a big problem because we will always go over with the red bone and then fix it. But if you go with, uh, over the previous colors, then you will have to do it all over again. So just try to be as neat as possible. Now we will proceed uh, with the Agaros Dunes, another contrast paint, 
and we will block the color on his uh, armor plates all around. So you have it on his boots and on his arms. Our next color will be a Black Templar, another contrast color. Uh, we will use this color to, to block all the metal parts on the Mini, uh, which will be the, the gun and his uh, knife handle. As well, I will block uh, his, uh, uh, all the belts and all the, like, the little stripes that are holding the, the holster and uh, the knife at the back. So try to be as neat as possible, because this is really like really small parts of the mini. Try to use, if you don't have a control in your brush, try to use the smallest brush you have. Like I'm, I'm using the size zero at this point, uh, and I'm pretty confident with it, so I'm not making that many mistakes. the handle of his uh, gun, I will use a uh, Gore Grand Tougher, another contrast paint, so this is like a quick and easy step. And also I will dab a little on his gun just to create some rust effect, just on his handle of the gun. Time to wash our Death Vault Green layer. We will use the military shader wash and uh, just add uh, two drops of the quick shed wash medium into your wash so it will flow really nicely and it won't be that dark as it usually is and then try to cover all the that all the green parts of the mini Our wash is dry, we will go back to the Death World Forest and then we will go over the, his pants and his armor again. But now at this point uh, you won't go into the recesses, so you will just go on the most exposed part of the mini, so you want to leave your shadows deep uh, dark and uh, you want to make the, the brighter parts of the mini brighter. Now time to do the highlights, we will just add uh, Avalon Sunset to the previous mix of the Death Vault Forest. Uh, it will be around 50-50% uh, mix and we will use this uh, color just for the extreme highlights. So just do the, the lines on his armor, uh, just the edge highlighting on the armor and then uh, for the pants you will do uh, wherever there is a fold on his pants, yeah, you will do a little lines.
Now I will use a ribbon again because I want these uh, stripes on his backpack to be a different color. So I will just turn them back to the to the red one color and then uh, I will use Agaros dunes again over them so just to paint them uh, to match his armor. Uh, time to highlight his backpack now. So I will use a scarcity green color. Uh, just uh, add a little water to it on your palette and we will do the same steps as we did before. So we will try to cover all the previous uh, green elements on his backpack and the shoulder pads. Uh, this time try to cover like around 80% of it, uh, leaving the deepest recesses still in the darker color. And as well I will highlight the little stripes that I put uh, green on his legs, just above his shoes and some of his, on his knee pads. Now we will again add uh, Avalon Sunset to the mix, 50-50 uh, as usual, and uh, highlight the highest parts of his backpack as well uh, as uh, edges. Same we will do on the shoulder, uh, shoulder plates. We will highlight the one at the top so where the light falls on it. And uh, on the little stripes of his legs, just do the corners and on the knee pads as well. Uh, the holster you can do the edge highlighting. As I mentioned before, uh, I will go back to the Agar's Dunes and do the stripes on his backpack just uh, to match them with, uh, with the rest of his armors. metal parts I will use the gun metal gray from the green stuff world uh, if you don't have it you can use the lead belcher from the games workshop so we will just go over the metal parts these uh, little ammo containers that he's standing on and uh, I will uh, as well paint uh, his knife and the barrel of his gun if needed uh, just do the two thin coats until you get the, the color that you like Time to highlight his gun and the black parts. So we will use uh, Administratum Grey and do all the sharp edges. So we'll do edge highlight on the gun and uh, uh, on his uh, gloves and the uh, knife handle. As well on the stripes on his legs, we'll just do the little edge highlights.
time to wash the metal parts. For this I will use the mix of the dark tone and the blue tone. So I will use just uh, one drop of a blue tone and two drops of a dark tone and just mix it. Uh, I want to get like a bluish tint to the metal. Just be careful when you are doing this wash so you don't want it to go over the, his boots and when you do the gun barrel you don't want to, to go on his helmet. We'll use a scrag brown to do the highlights on the handle of his gun. Just do the edge highlight on each corner. Now we will use uh, Avalanche Sunset just to highlight the lenses on his helmet. Just you will do the top part of the lenses while leaving the, the bottom part uh, is the previous color. After our washes are dry, it's time to highlight the metal parts. So we will use a Storm Horse Silver. Uh, you will dilute it a little on, the, on your palette and uh, you will highlight the edges of these ammo boxes, uh, edge of your knife and the edge of the gun barrels. Uh, don't go too deep into the recesses with this color. So our last highlight today will be Ushapti Bone. Uh, just uh, add a little water to your palette, to your color, so it flows really nicely. And then we will edge highlight all of his uh, armor plates, uh, we will do his boots and uh, the stripes at the back of his backpack. Since our model is now completed, it's time to transfer him to his base and do the 
protected coat of varnish on top of it so we protect our work and it's time uh, it's ready for some tabletop i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please like and subscribe and let me know in the comments below if you like this new method of filming and i will try to do my best in the future thank you bye bye